Hi there, and welcome to the CSP Cloud Portal video. Today we're going to cover how to add another subscription to an existing tenant. This is a really simple process to complete. So firstly, what we want you to do is jump inside your dickadata.co.nz login, and you're going to head to the Manage and Subscriptions section. Here you'll see a list of available programs. You want to select CSP, and then you'll see a list of your customer details. Find the customer you want, search for the tenant name or simply find them in the list and click manage. You'll see a list of their subscription details underneath the customer information. You can quickly modify quantities if you need to from this section. Let's say your customer needs a new license type, perhaps they're adding CRM. You can start by clicking the add new subscriptions button at the bottom of the page and then search for the license type required. Make sure you hover over the description names as you'll see the differences can be that they are including government pricing or regular corporate pricing. Input the required quantity and then select the item. You can go ahead and add others or close and simply jump back to the management page. The ones that you've selected will be pending a couple of details. A PO reference, which will show up in all your invoices, as well as an MPN ID of your business. You'll notice the section has multiple areas asking you to confirm all. Make sure to confirm all and then we'll process on Microsoft. After you hit confirm, a tool will give you the new customer monthly total and clicking continue will complete the ordering process and you'll get a confirmation we've now placed the order on Microsoft. Heading back over to the customer management page, you'll notice that the status will be pending creation. After a couple of minutes, reloading the page will update the status to active and the licenses are now already available in the Office 365 tenant to assign to your users. The invoicing for this new subscription will be pro rata charged from the day you've processed until the next billing date for your customer. For more information on billing processes, please see the How Invoicing Works video in this series. Thanks.